Welcome to Kubernetes Patterns for Application Developers. What you will learn will not only be useful for your career, but also preparing you for the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer Certification Exam. There are some tips included to help you succeed under the high-pressure, time-limited exam situation. I'm Logan Rockeye. I'm a content researcher and developer here at Cloud Academy. I have over 10 years of experience in software research and development, and I've been working in the cloud since 2012. I'm a Certified Kubernetes Application Developer and a Certified Kubernetes Administrator. Kubernetes pods allow you to have multiple containers sharing the same network space and can also share storage between containers. Often using a single container is the right choice for a pod, but there are several common patterns for when you should use multiple containers. We will first explain the motivation behind pods, and then we will dive into three multi-container patterns, the sidecar, the ambassador, and the adapter. Pods are an extra level of abstraction above containers. What benefits do we get by having this extra level of abstraction? Containers alone aren't enough for Kubernetes to effectively manage workloads. Pods allow you to specify additional information, such as restart policies and probes, to check the health of containers. Pods also allow you to seamlessly deal with different types of underlying containers, for example, Docker and Rocket. You deal with pods regardless of the underlying container runtime. By allowing multiple containers to share network and storage in a pod, you can have tightly coupled containers co-located and managed as a single unit without needing to package them as a single container image. This allows for better separation of concerns and can improve container image reusability. The patterns in this lesson will illustrate this benefit. The first pattern we will cover is the sidecar pattern. It is the most common one. As the name suggests, the sidecar pattern uses a helper container to assist a primary container. Common examples include logging agents that collect logs and ship them to a central aggregation system. The logging example is explored in the Kubernetes Observability Lab here on Cloud Academy. Other examples include file sync services and watchers. All of these examples add useful functionality to the main container and can be accomplished by adding a sidecar rather than burdening the main container with additional responsibilities. It makes it easier for different development teams to work on each application separately and also makes testing easier. Furthermore, you get the benefit of failure isolation. If the sidecar fails, say the logging agent fails, then the main container, say a web server, can continue to serve traffic. You can also independently update the sidecar container. It's worth pointing out here that all of these benefits are also true for the other multi-container design patterns that we'll cover. The second pattern we'll cover is the ambassador pattern. The ambassador pattern uses a container to proxy communication to and from a primary container. The primary container only needs to consider connecting to localhost, while the ambassador controls proxying the connections to different environments. This is because containers in the same pod share the same network space and can communicate with each other over localhost. This pattern is commonly used to communicate with a database. You can configure environment variables in the primary container to control the database connection, but with the ambassador pattern, the application can be simplified to always connect to localhost, with the responsibility of connecting to the right database given to the ambassador. In production environments, the ambassador can implement logic to work with sharded databases as well, but the application in the primary container only needs to consider a single logical database accessible over localhost. Some of the other benefits of the ambassador pattern are that during application development, you can run a database on your local machine without requiring the ambassador, keeping the development experience simple. The ambassador may also be used by multiple applications written in different languages, since that responsibility is taken out of the primary application. Now let's consider our final pattern, the adapter pattern. The adapter pattern uses a container to present a standardized interface across multiple pods. For example, presenting an interface for accessing output in a standardized format for logs across several applications. The adapter pattern is the opposite of the ambassador pattern in that the ambassador presents a simplified view to the primary container, while the adapter pattern presents a simplified view of the application to the outside world. The adapter pattern is commonly used for normalizing application logs or monitoring data, so they can easily be consumed by a shared aggregation system. The adapter may communicate with primary container using either a shared volume when dealing with files or over localhost, for example, when getting metric data from a REST API. The adapter pattern allows you to adapt an application's output without requiring code changes. This may be required when you do not have access to an application's source code. Even if you do have access to the source, it is a cleaner separation of concerns to use an adapter for each potential interface that may be required rather than burdening the application with that complexity. And with that, it's time to start learning about Kubernetes patterns for application developers. 